you're frustrated that you can only use one drum kit here in GarageBand, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can split out our drums and use multiple kit pieces from different kits in the same project. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome back to my GarageBand 5-Minute Quick Tip Series. Let's get started. There are a heap of ways to add drums here in GarageBand. You can add them in manually using the acoustic drummer. You can use the beat sequencer, and you can, of course, use the auto drummer. I cover all of those in other videos right here on the channel. In fact, if you find it hard to program your own drums, I've got a great little hack that can turn a yellow drummer track into a green MIDI drum track. So if you want to do that to start with, check out that video first, come back to this one, and I'll show you this next step. Step one is to duplicate this drum by tapping on the drum kit there and hitting duplicate. That will duplicate the drum kit and all the settings, but not the MIDI notes. So now I want to tap on this one, tap again, and hit copy. Now tap down into this track by tapping first on the drum track there, and then tapping in this empty space and hitting paste. Now we've got two copies of this exact drum track. What I now want to do is remove the crashes from this one and leave only the crashes in this one. To do that, we tap, tap again, and hit the edit button here to go into our MIDI note editor. And what I want to do is actually remove these crashes. If you don't know which one the crashes are, you can tap there to confirm and here are all your different kit pieces there. So I'm going to remove these by tapping outside here, dragging across all of them like so, and then tapping on one and hitting delete. Let's hit done and jump over to our other track where we're gonna do the exact opposite. Let's tap, tap again, hit the edit button here. We wanna select everything but the crash. Now tap on any of these highlighted sections and hit delete. And just like magic, we've now got our crash singles separated out. Now you can do this in a more detailed way. And I've got a whole extra video all about splitting out your drums if you want to learn even more. Now what we can do is change the drum kit for just this crash track. So to do that, we have the drums selected by tapping and then tap up here on the drum icon. Now, instead of scientific method, what if we wanted to change this and maybe use the red Retro rock crash instead. Let's solo just this track, go back to the start and uh, take a listen. I kind of like that one. Kind of sounds like the start of that Killers tune, doesn't it? But we can change it up. You can audition different ones by tapping. Let's maybe try the Liverpool one and try this. The other thing we have here is in this section, we've got these two crashes and on the same crash symbol, they don't kind of sound so good. We need two different sounds. And again, we can do that using this same method. Let's now hit the tracks view. We're going to tap right here on this kit piece and we're going to hit duplicate and that's going to duplicate the settings. And once again, to duplicate the MIDI note data, we tap, we hit the copy button, we tap down here, we tap out here, we hit the paste button. What we now need to do is remove some of the crash hits from from here and leave them in here. To do that, once again, tap, tap again, hit the edit button. We're gonna remove the first of these crashes. So just tap on that one and hit delete there and come down to the first of this and delete that one. Let's do the reverse on our other track. So we can just tap that one there, delete it, tap this original, delete it. It's a lot of crashing, isn't there? Tap, uh, tap, and tap. Hit the done button and now you can see just by the MIDI note data there that we've got these two crashes separated out. Now the final step here is to change this kit to something else. So we do that by tapping on the drum kit and changing it up here. This time let's grab that Liverpool and now when we get into these sections, let's just solo these two and take a listen at this double crash part. A lot cooler, isn't it? When you bring it back in to your overall mix, you get two different sounds from those two crash singles. And for even more coolness, a final hack here, and that is that we can actually separate these out with some panning. So to do that, we tap up the top here on our mixer icon. Let's just pan this one hard left and tap on this one and pan it hard right. Let's listen to this section now with both of these symbols mixed left and right with the rest of our drum kit. There you have it. I think you can see the possibilities with this. You can change up different snares, different toms, hi-hats, ride cymbals. You can mix and match kits to your heart's content and then separate them out with panning and volume adjustments and different effects on every track. It's a cool way to get a cool drum sound here in GarageBand. If you'd like to learn more about creating, recording and releasing in GarageBand, check out the videos down in the description.